What's up guys? Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Autodesk Fusion 360 tool tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about how to use the thread tool in order to create realistic, accurate threads inside of your model. So this can be very helpful for adding things like threading to the inside of uh, nuts or um, creating threaded rods or bolts or other things like that. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So this tool is another example of what I really love about Fusion 360 which is it really makes operations like this very easy. So basically what the thread tool does is it allows you to add threads to cylindrical objects. And so let's say we were to start off by creating a simple cylinder and we'll give it a thickness of 0.25. We'll finish our sketch and then we'll extrude it up. Well, a lot of times what you might want to do is you might want to come in and add threads to this. So you might be using some kind of a rod or you might be creating like a bolt or a screw or something like that. And we want to make this threaded. Well, there's a built-in tool inside of the create functions that allows you to do that. So if you click on this drop down that says create, you can go down and there's an option for thread. And you can see how this tells you that you can add internal or external threads on objects. And so what we want to do is we want to activate this tool and then it's gonna ask us to select a face. Well, in this case, we're gonna select this face right here. And so when we select this face, you're gonna notice that now this looks like a threaded rod. So what it has on here is it has a number of different threads. However, if you look closely, so if I was to deselect this, and we'd probably have to add that first. But if you look closely, right now all this has done is this has just applied an image or a texture to this indicating that it's threaded. But it hasn't actually modeled out the geometry of the different threads. And so that's fine if you don't need to actually like print those or need them to be real world geometry. This is actually a really good solution because it'll make your larger models run faster. However, in this case, we want to check the box for modeled. When we check the box for modeled, what you're going to notice is now this actually comes in here and creates the threads in 3D as actual geometry. So now, if we were to create this, this would actually be a solid and you could actually like 3D print this or whatever you wanted to do. These are actually accurate threads now based on real world dimensions. And so you're going to notice that first of all, there's an option in here for full length. So you can set if something is fully threaded or partially threaded by adjusting this length right here after you uncheck this box. So you can set it so the whole thing is threaded or if just part of it is threaded. And so you can set the offset on that and the length on that if you wanna do that. You can also, if you do leave this as full length or we'll leave this as full length, there's also a number of different thread types in here. There's a pretty large library of different kinds of threads. So you can find the kind of thread that you want and you can also adjust the size. So you can adjust the size either by clicking and dragging this out. If you want to do that, notice that's changing the diameter of your cylinder. Or you can also select from this dropdown right here. So I can just set this to 0.25 if I want to. So, and there's other options in here as well. So you can use those in here. You can also set the direction of your threads depending on what way you want those to go. And so this last box will set this to remember your size so that the next time you use the tool, um, it'll maintain these dimensions. So we'll go ahead and check that one and we'll click on OK. So you can see how adding these threads is really easy. Well now, let's add a nut that would go on this. And so that's pretty easy to do. You can just uh, create a sketch and then we'll set this plane right here. We'll use the circle tool and we'll draw an inside diameter circle of 0.25 because that's gonna be the diameter of the uh, hole that we want to fit on here. And then we're also going to, want to create, we're gonna create a circumscribed polygon. So for our circumscribed polygon, we'll set our center point and then we'll make this a little bit wider than that hole. So in this case, we'll go with the 0.2 inches and click finish sketch. And then let's just extrude this up to, we'll call it maybe 0.1 inches for right now and hit the enter key. So what we've done is we've created this nut that would go on this. However, what we don't have is we don't have any threads on the inside of this object. Well, the thread tool allows you to add threads to the interior of circular objects as well as to the exterior. So in this case, all I have to do is activate the thread tool, click on this face, and then make sure this has the same thread size on it 
as what we selected in the same direction, you can see how this will add these threads in here at a quarter inch or for the quarter inch size um, without you having to do any kind of math or figure out how to model this geometry. You literally just can click on OK. And now you have a nut and a bolt that both have threading added to them. So and then one last thing to note is if we were to come in here and inspect these and do a section analysis, and we'll just add this right here, you can see how these are actually in here as solids. So all of these can actually be 3D printed because there's solid shapes. So if you were to print this, for example, then this would actually get printed at a dimension where your threads would actually match um, the threads over here or they would match something in the real world that has this size associated with it. So not only is this cosmetic, it's also very practical because these are actually 3D printable. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Do you like this tool? Have you been using it? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.